In the past clips I uh, focused on functions and derivatives and their meaning in terms of optimization of functions or calculating extrema of functions. First of all, I discussed the extreme value theorem which uh, states that a continuous function on a closed interval is uh, attains a maximum and a minimum value on this interval. So we may define the minimum of f of such f on the interval a b, the closed interval a b, and also we may define capital M being the maximum of the function values on a b and uh, using the extreme value theorem we discussed the closed interval method in finding extreme values in combination with Fermat's theorem well Fermat states that when f on a closed interval has an extremum fc for some value c in a b like a minimum or a maximum yeah um, and and this minimum or maximum can be a local one then what should hold is either of two cases so either we have that c is a stationary point or meaning that the derivative is zero or the derivative does not exist and this is a nice tool to use because for any differentiable function we may just calculate the derivative and try to solve for zero and so this leads to the following global optimization program we just try to find the derivative of a function and study for critical points yeah. So if we know that the function is derivat uh, has a derivative, then we know that all critical points are stationary points, but it doesn't need to be. So sometimes we also have point C where the derivative does not exist. And the thing that we need to do is compare the function values there. Yeah, and uh, compare them with the boundary values FA and FB. Yeah, like I stated before, for local optimization, we it suffices to find critical points, and uh, the critical points uh, form the fir so-called first order condition. So, either the derivative is zero, or the derivative does not exist in such a point. Now, in the coming clips, I will discuss a so-called second order condition by which you can identify the local maxima and local minima.